Today I am going to focus on the velocity ratio of simple machine. This is the general formula for the velocity ratio. The ratio of distance traveled by the effort to the distance traveled by the load in a simple machine is called velocity ratio of that simple machine. Formula for different simple machine is different. There are four basic types of simple machine. Number one lever, number two pulley, number three wheel and axle, number four inclined plane. But there are other two simple machine which comes under inclined plane. They are also called modified version of inclined plane. What are they? They are screw and wheel. In all these simple machine actually the ratio of distance traveled by the effort to the distance traveled by the load is velocity ratio of that simple machine but distance traveled by effort and distance traveled by load is different in different simple machine in lever it is different pulley it is different that's why the formula for velocity ratio is different for all these simple machine our focus is on the velocity ratio but i want to define first the simple machine and I'll show you the figure and then I'll tell you about the velocity ratio actually the formula of velocity ratio okay let's go through lever lever is a simple machine which consists of a straight or bent rigid bar in which a point is fixed the fixed point is called fulcrum about which the rest of the part can turn crowbar pair of scissors spade etc are some example of lever there are many lever which we use in daily life this diagram represents a lever and there are three basic components effort fulcrum and load and this is the length of the effort arm actually the distance from this fulcrum to the point of application of the effort is the effort distance and which is considered as length of effort arm and the distance from fulcrum to the load is actually load distance and this part of the lever is considered as length of load arm. And what is velocity ratio in lever? Velocity ratio is actually the ratio of length of effort arm to the length of load arm is the velocity ratio of the lever. Okay, let's go to another pulley. What is pulley? Pulley is a grouped wheel. Or the combination of groped wheel in which a rope or a string is used to raise heavy load. This is the diagram of pulley. Pulley is of different type that's why I'm showing different diagram. Now what is velocity ratio of the pulley system? We can see the velocity ratio of pulley system is the number of segments of the string supporting the load or the number of pulley look at this in this case only one segment of the string is supporting this load that's why its velocity ratio is one here two string segments are supporting the load that's why its velocity ratio is two here two string segments are supporting the load that's why its velocity ratio is two this segment is not supporting the load here three string segments are supporting the load one two three that's why its velocity ratio is three its ratio velocity ratio is two in this case but velocity ratio is three in this case here also velocity ratio is three because three string segments are supporting the load but this segment is not supporting the load that's why number of segments of the string supporting the load is velocity ratio in pulley system the same can be written as the number of pulley also look at this here only one pulley is present that's why its velocity ratio is one but here two pulleys are present that's why its velocity ratio is two and here three pulleys are present that's why its velocity ratio is three but in some cases number of pulley does not represent the velocity ratio of that pulley system just for example here only one pulley is used but this velocity ratio is 2 because two segments of the string are supporting the load and in this case also number of pulley is 2 but there are three string segments supporting the load but its velocity ratio is 3 
so it will be better to have this first part as velocity ratio number of segments of a string supporting the load is velocity ratio of the pulley system okay let's go to another wheel and axle can be defined this way wheel and axle is a simple machine which consists of two coaxial wheels of different radius we can certainly write this definition or it can be written this way also wheel and axle is a simple machine which consists of of two cylinders of different radius which can rotate around a common fixed axis the smaller is known as axle and the larger is known as wheel for example screwdriver spanner handle of door pedal of bicycle steering wheel of vehicle etc are few example of wheel and axle okay well, how can we so wheel and axle diagrammatically this is the diagram for wheel and axle and this big cylinder is actually wheel and the small cylinder which is inserted into it and they can rotate around a common fixed axis that's why it is called wheel and axle this is axle this is wheel normally a rope or a string is worn around the wheel and another rope or a string is worn around the axle but the direction of winding is just opposite in such a way that when we pull the rope of wheel then the wheel turns and uh, along with the wheel axle also turns but since rope is worn in opposite direction that's why the load rises up okay this is wheel and axle okay what is the velocity ratio of wheel and axle the ratio of radius of wheel to the radius of axle is the velocity ratio of wheel and axle this is the formula which we use to solve the numerical problem now next what is inclined plane inclined plane is a simple machine which consists of a flat and rigid surface inclined at an angle to the horizontal we can represent inclined plane like this this is the diagrammatic representation of inclined plane and these are the components which are labeled here the load is kept at one of the end of the inclined plane and we apply force on it to pull on the surface of the inclined plane and this is the distance through which we will pull the load up to the another end. length of the inclined plane is considered as effort distance because we apply effort throughout this length to pull a body up to certain height okay here we have load distance what is load distance exactly the height of the inclined plane is load distance what is velocity ratio of inclined plane it can be defined like this the ratio of length of the inclined plane to the height of the inclined plane is actually velocity ratio in case of inclined plane using this formula we can solve the numerical problem related to inclined plane to find the velocity ratio screw is considered to be an inclined plane wrapped around the surface of a rod or cylinder and this is the diagram of the screw and i want to focus another point also pitch the distance between two neighboring threads of the screw here the threads are a little away from each other somewhere they are closer to each other and somewhere they are all more away from each other the distance between two neighboring threads of the screw is considered as pitch of the screw and actually this is the distance traveled by the load when we use the screw that's why well, how can we define velocity ratio of a screw velocity ratio is the ratio of distance covered by the effort in the circumference of the screw which can be denoted by 2 pi r mathematically to the pitch of the screw that can be denoted by p this formula can be used to find the velocity ratio in screw okay next wedge what is wedge wedge is a simple machine which consists of a sharp end and its thickness increases gradually up to the other end it can be represented by this way look at this is the wedge and it is shown to be inserted into an object this is the object this is the height of the waves inserted into the object and this is the thickness of the waves inserted into the object and what is velocity ratio of the waves velocity ratio of the waves can be defined as the ratio of height of the waves this to the thickness of the waves is velocity ratio of the waves 
or we can say this way also the ratio of height of the wedge inserted into the object to the thickness of the wedge inserted into the object is velocity ratio of the wedge okay i want to stop now we'll meet in another class thank you